Hey guys, Ops on Fire here, and this is the full review of the Mobile Light G2. Before I get into this, I would like to give major thanks to Kingston for contacting me and asking me if I want to do this review, and for also providing me with a Kingston Class 10 SD card and a Kingston USB 3.0 16GB flash drive. So without any further delay, let's move on to the review. So let's first talk about the design of the Kingston Mobileite. It is made up of hard plastic with a matte finish and I tend to prefer the matte finish because it doesn't attract a lot of fingerprints, so Kingston did something right there. But it seems like the Mobileite is sort of hollow, it doesn't feel as solid as it should be. When I press the plastic down the device seems to creak and make noise, so the build quality might be questionable, but I'm sure you will have no problems with this because I have not had any. On the front of the G2, you get the Kingston logo, and moving to the bottom, you get the LED indicators, micro USB port, and the name of the device branded on the plastic. Also, the power button is here as well, and I actually had a problem with it. The power button is actually pretty hard to press. You need to use your nail to push it down, and I wish it would just be a regular button, but I'm sure they will implement it in the newer version. Overall, the design was average, and next time they should use better materials. But really, you aren't getting this device for its design. You're getting it for its many features. The Mobileite G2 has 5 features packed in one small device. The G2 can act as a router, power bank, SD card reader, data transfer, and data storage. If you plug in an Ethernet cable to the back of the G2, you can use it as a way to make your own Wi-Fi hotspot, which is very useful when traveling and the old hotel only has a wired connection. This can also act as a power bank so you can charge your devices. It is packing a 4640 milliamp battery and can charge your phone about twice fully. Since there is a USB and SD card port, you can plug in um, those and transfer your photos, videos, and music to your phone or use it to transfer them to the USB or SD card. I use this feature a lot to get photos and videos from my camera to my phone so I can post them on social media. It has made it a lot easier to transfer data and it actually is pretty fast at it. I can transfer photos almost seamlessly. The final feature is media streaming. If you have movies on your USB or SD card, you can use it to stream it to your phone. And it should be really great for road trips or when camping. The thing I really love about the G2 is that you can bring it anywhere and still have access to everything. It makes its own wireless connection and you can connect your device to that connection. So I'm not only limited to having it at my home or something. Overall, really impressed with its performance. So for some final thoughts, I really didn't think I would use this device that much, but it has really surprised me and has become very useful. It used to be a hassle to transfer photos and videos from my camera to my phone, and this has really changed all of that. If they can make some improvements to the design and build quality, then this thing will be perfect. Can't wait to see what else Kingston has in store for the next one. Once again, major thanks to Kingston, and all their links will be down below in the description. The Mobile Light G2 is going for about 30 bucks, so get it while the sale is still on. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.